So today, we're going to be talking about how to truly love yourself. And I'm actually very excited about this video because it's just something that I'm really passionate about. The time that I took to go through this and to develop these new habits and this time the third was a very valuable time and I am forever grateful that I set aside that time to do that and that I really just stayed very dedicated to the whole little process. And plus, I just love self-improvement. It's a great topic and I'm just very passionate about it. So, to get right into it, there's six steps. I don't know why I put up ten fingers. But there's six steps in, you know, the path of truly loving yourself. At least the initial like raw obviously we're always going to be growing we're always going to be evolving we're going to get older life circumstances and situations will change this that and the third bada bing bada boom but more so what i'm talking about today is just that turning point because i feel like the turning point is such a big turning point i got a little list on my phone that i'm so excited to share first step is to make a decision with that decision you need to decide that it's truly what you want to do and you need to accept the fact that you'll be spending a substantial amount of time by yourself and you truly want to spend this time by yourself feel it like you know if anything's going to be different in my life this is what i'm going to do and i have to spend alone time with myself well then that's exactly what i want to do i'm going to make the decision the conscious decision to spend a lot of time alone and i am going to truly want spend this time alone not mm, i don't really want to but like i guess no you can acknowledge the fact that it'll be hard for sure. I feel like this step is one of the harder steps in the sense that life you have before this turning point, it could have been very fun. It could initially, you know, increase your heart rate. It gives you a little rush of adrenaline or something of the sort. So that's why I feel like this decision is hard because when you make this turning point, you're not going to be doing the same little things that you used to do. To say all of that, you just have to make a decision this is what you want to do and be heart to heart with that decision so now for step two is to have an intense deep dive with yourself and when i say intense i mean set aside an entire night an entire afternoon just for this deep dive so in this deep dive session you're going to write what you love about yourself then you're going to write what you don't like about yourself or things that you may not have as many positive things to say or something about yourself that you know you're uncomfortable with and then you're going to want to write out what goes well for you and what goes wrong for you look at situations and compare like even if they're similar situations where sometimes you had a good outcome and another time you had a negative outcome compare those situations and look at what actions did you take for yourself or what happened that you did and had control of leading up to said said event this will help you recognize the patterns that lead to success and or learning lessons this is a very valuable step in terms of like becoming aware and acknowledging the things that you do and i want to put emphasis on what you do because at the end of the day you have no control over what the other person's doing or what the other person did that lead up to this all you can control is how you responded and what you did throughout that situation so essentially this step is just important in the fact that you just really come to terms with yourself about what you do and the part that you played in different scenarios really analyze yourself with the intentions with the intentions okay y'all with the intentions of this one-on-one -on -one session with myself is a turning point for me this one-on-one -on -one session with myself is the start of a new beginning this is a turning point for you this is a transformer for you this is just the decision the decision that you are turning a new leaf going to create a new route for yourself so to back off of step two we are going to now create a path based off of everything that we 
acknowledged and figured out during our deep dive. And when you create a path based off of what you had your deep dive about, you're going to create a path or record the steps that are necessary to take for you to become this best version of yourself. Obviously, this is not going to happen in one day and this is not going to happen overnight. If you try to do it in a day or in a week or, you know, I'm going to give myself a time limit, it, no, no. It's a journey and you're supposed to enjoy the process. You're not supposed to just try to get to the end goal. You're supposed to enjoy like learning more about yourself, exploring yourself. So don't limit your exploratory time by just looking to the outcome. When you create a path, you're going to make a list of what needs to be accomplished for you to do whatever it is or be whatever it is you're trying to be. Step four is to visualize. If you didn't see that coming at any point in time, but it's to visualize. And when you visualize, you're going to visualize what does this version of you that loves herself to the extreme look like? What does she do? How does she act? things of that sort. And when I say the version of you that loves herself to the maximum, I don't mean like someone who's selfish or conceited or like has a lack of understanding for other people in the situations that they may face. No, I mean someone who sees themselves as perfect. And when I say perfect, I do not, okay? I do not mean in the way of like, oh, I'm perfect, like I don't need to change or oh, I'm perfect, it's not me. It's not me because I'm perfect. No, that's not what I mean at all at all i mean perfect in the way that like oh you know i'm beautifully and wonderfully made this is the body that god gave me this is the face that god gave me like it's perfect this is what he gave me of course it's perfect why would he why would he why would he do all these things and then make me look mm -hmm. you feel me like no in the way of like this is me you know and being comfortable and seeing who you are and what you are as perfect and not like, hmm, well, I love my hair, but I may have thin eyebrows or, you know, something like that. Your thin eyebrows are perfect. Are they thin? Yeah, but except the fact that you have thin eyebrows and you love your eyebrows because those are your eyebrows. And following that, like, you're perfect and you're comfortable with who you are and what you are while while okay while you are focused on self-development and this self-development is not in a i need to fix myself or you know this is ugly about me i need to change it no you're not developing yourself because you think something's ugly that's a contradiction within itself no you're focusing on self-development to be a better you than what you already are you're not trying to participate in different self-development activities because you're not this or this is what's wrong with you. No, 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 no. You want to participate in self-development and you want to focus on self-development in the way that, hmm, I don't need to make sure that I go to the gym at six o'clock in the morning because, oh, like, no, I need to fix this about my body. This looks wrong with me. Only the people who are most productive or successful or whatever, wake up at six o'clock in the morning, so that's what I need to do. No, you wake up at six o'clock in the morning and go to the gym because you have a full schedule after that. And you know that when you get home from this full schedule, you are not gonna wanna go to the gym. You're gonna wanna change into your comfy clothes and you're gonna wanna get in your bed. You're not gonna wanna have this long day and then have to leave school, work, wherever, and go to the gym. If you wake up just an hour earlier, just two hours earlier, then you go to the gym, you get it out the way, now you're ready for the day, like you're up, like you just got done with the gym, you're up. You know, your heart rate's going. And now you don't have to worry about it for the rest of your day. You went to the gym and it basically prepared you for your day because you're in a good mood because you just got all these endorphins. Not because you're not successful if you don't wake up at six o'clock in the morning to go to the gym because only successful people wake up that early. No, you're waking up that early for the benefit of you. But when you visualize, you need to see what this version of yourself does that's different than what you're accustomed to or what you typically do. What's their routine? What do they do? Because that's you. That's your routine. That's what you do. And the last part of visualizing is that this is going to be a morning and night thing. You're going to visualize morning and night. Because when you wake up, you're going to see and believe that you are this version of yourself 
that you visualize. So if this version of yourself drinks a bottle of water right when she wakes up in the morning, then you know what you're gonna do? You're already gonna have a bottle of water on your nightstand from the night before, cause you put it there. And you're gonna wake up and you're gonna drink that bottle of water. Because that's what the version of yourself that you wanna be does. And you're waking up as that version. So go ahead and drink that bottle of water. Me personally, I would play songs that would just make me feel so relaxed. It would make me feel so good. It reminded me of just the best of everything. Like the sound, the way the song sounded was just immaculate to me. It just like reminded me of the perfect memories of the perfect screenshots in my head of future activities that I'm going to be participating in. This song or these songs will remind me of hmm, in the summertime, you know, I got my internship going. I got this going on. I'm going on these trips. I'm hanging out with so-and-so, whoever that may be, but I'm doing it. And you know what I did that next summer? I did exactly what I used to think about like day and night these songs literally just made me feel so good it just made me feel so pretty it made me feel so happy i felt absolute calmness when i listened to these songs and i would think nothing but good things when i went to sleep i figured out how to make my alarm these songs when it's six o'clock summer is gonna start playing and it's gonna start playing 10 seconds in at my favorite part of the intro and when I would go to sleep, I would sit and I would play the song on a loop for probably 10, 15 minutes, sometimes 20 minutes. That's just me. But I would just play the song and I would just sit there and I would close my eyes with my cover and I would just think. I would think about the summertime and how I would have my internship working from home or my favorite park and I would have boba. If I'm thinking about it and I'm being that person or doing whatever I need to do on my path to be that person every single day, making the necessary steps, being dedicated to the cause and what I wanna do, I'm gonna be that person because that is me and I'm seeing me, I'm gonna be me. So visualize y'all, visualize, visualize, visualize. So we are getting close to the end. We are at step five. <laughs> And step five is to stay dedicated. Be dedicated to waking up and thinking about the best you. Let's wake up and think about us and how awesome we are and how great we're going to be today. Don't think about something that happened two days ago that you didn't like or somebody talked to you a certain type of way that you didn't like and that's what you wake up thinking about now. And also, this dedication goes to say that when I say dedicated, I don't mean to never hang out with your friends or go out. I just mean that you consciously make moves towards your goals or that you stop and you think about what you should do instead of what you usually do or what you're used to doing. Or in better words, what is the future you want you to do instead of acting on normalcy? Look at the situation and say, hmm, I would do this, but I don't even need to do all that. What matters most in this step of you staying dedicated is that in six months or from a year from now, you can look at you can look back at who you once were and be like, wow, like I've grown a lot or wow, I handle situations like that totally different than like how I used to. And now we have finally gotten to the last step of how to truly love yourself. And that step is that you need to truly believe and wholeheartedly feel and see that you are this outstanding version of you. You literally, and I cannot stress this enough, have to have the mindset of, I am this person. You really just have to embody the energy. So those are my six steps to how to truly love yourself and fall in love with yourself. It is something that I did and I spent a lot of time alone. And like I said, that doesn't mean I didn't hang out with my friends, but I definitely had a lot more time allocated for myself than I did for friends or going out or doing something. So those are just six steps that I found is detrimental or like major to um, my self-love process and like, like I said, honest, pure, 100% self-love for me and not, you know, the self-love that I think I have. I really only have 35%, but I'm telling myself that, no, I love myself 100% while doing all these things that show 
that I don't 100% love myself. Really, really, really enjoyed preparing this video, talking about this, and it is, like I said, just something that I am truly, truly, truly passionate about. Something that I'm dedicated to and something that I continue because self-development never stops. However, I'm not looking at it in a negative way and I'm not seeing it in a way that something's wrong with me or anything like that. I continue to do my self-development because I always want to be a better version of me. And before I go, you know, if you've had similar paths or however you went about it, let me know how you went about it. Let me know your favorite ways to, you know, truly care for yourself and show yourself that you care for yourself. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!